Yo, how's it going everyone? My name is Lionhearts and welcome back to the channel. With the launch of CS2, I'm feeling highly motivated to see just how far I can climb in matchmaking and I want to document that journey along the way. All the funny moments, the highlights, and the lowlights are going to be contained within these videos. So if you guys like what you're about to see, make sure you take a second, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more, and follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok to catch more content just like this. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Flashing. Palace! I push stairs as I turn to Palace. God damn it. Watch your CT. Oh, play bomb. I'm low and I'm baiting you. Get the ace or don't. Get the ace or don't. Halls. Nice ace. Finally. Wait, his first ace! Let's go! <laughs> Once, uh, squeaky. Flashing. Flashing. You know Said while holding an auto shotgun. Stand by. Ramp. Pushing now. Oh, one more. One more. Nice. Nice shot. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of a clip, huh? Hey, main one. Smokes A, two. Three. Oh, he just sat back in mid. Wow. I threw that. Hey, one was top and mid T. Teammates flanking their spawn right now. Nice job. Library smoked. Pit not clear, sight not clear. Sight not clear. Oh, sight clear. Yep, sight clear. Ah. Up mid. Up mid. I thought I heard him. Porch. Arch. Arch. Porch. I don't see any. Yep, he came boiler boiler now. Lane. That was a bad call on porch. You made me look the wrong way. Pushing boiler now. The same thing you heard. It's just calling it could be porch. No, he was in mid. Okay. He wasn't at porch at all. Caps. Because I was in boiler looking porch and there was nothing there and you guys are calling it. I'm like, what are they looking I at? Miss, I misspoke. I said orch instead of arch because I am an idiot. I said uh, could be porch after the mid -call, So if you heard me, I porch. apologize. I'm just brain damaged. Is that a hall spec? See Tetris or triple. I got blinded from there. Flashing jungle. One's jungle. I got fucking wrecked by that flash. I did call it over there. Jungle for sure. That's one of the most likely jungle. 
Stairs. It's probably me just playing. Yeah, it's yeah, it oh, in a triple. Uh, it's on mid. Two more here. Great setting. Nice hold. Mid, careful mid. Some Tetris. One more Tetris. Jesus, you don't need us. Don't go stairs, one knife, one knife, one knife, don't go stairs. Just don't peek these jungle or stairs, one knife, one knife, leave, leave, don't peek, don't peek, don't peek, don't peek, don't peek, don't peek, I'm a knife. <laughs> You're lucky I missed those headshots. I wanted, those headshot. the, next I it. I wanted the fucking, easy. I wanted the 4k so bad. <laughs> Bathroom? Or is that you jumping? That's me, yeah. That's him jumping. Justin, I know you're watching Monster. Justin! I want to be so mad at him. Justin, I'm glad you won the round. Can you do me a fucking favor <laughs> and tell me if you're gonna fucking bang me and behind the barrels, you fucking cunt! To be fair, you guys were both rotating off, so I just went to hide. You barrels said you were water, not beating me barrels. I did say I was gonna hide water. Oh, <laughs> ladies, dude. There's naked right here. I am playing like shit the last three days. <laughs> I don't need you adding on. And that feels like a good jumping off point to switch up gears and for the last half of this video here talk about dealing with playing bad. Something I'm still very much working on and something we could all be a little bit better about. Now I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> these last few streams I've played really badly. The you know highlights aside which are always just kind of you know one-offs and anecdotes they don't often represent the entirety of how a stream goes I have been playing just not good Counter-Strike lately. And frustratingly so. Sometimes it feels like the game is against me. Sometimes it feels like I'm just being outmatched. But there are plenty of times where I'm just simply making mistakes. And there's nothing more frustrating than feeling like, wow, I put myself in the position to make that as bad as it could have been. So what do you do and how do you deal with playing bad and how do you deal with tilt? Well, first things first, you have to establish the obvious. You're going to play bad. You're going to have bad games. You're going to lose. These are all facts. It happens to everybody. Even Simple, Nico, Twist, Elige, these players have bad games. It is just a fact of life. There are going to be some days you log on and you are just absolutely god tier, and some days you just don't know what a mouse is. So accepting that is a big part of it. Another thing, realize you're going to play a lot of games. One game is just not that big of a deal. It feels like a big deal in the moment. But part of trying to reset and maybe salvaging a bad performance is accepting that, listen, this game, it's just one game. Why let it hang so heavily on you when in reality it's just water off your back and you're going to be moving on in 20 minutes, 30 minutes max. Having a short memory is absolutely one of the keyest things to de dealing with tilt. But there's a lot more we can do mechanically to help alleviate when we can't necessarily get the kills like we want to. One of them is being proactive with communication with your team. Calling strats, running setups, don't just run in and try and DM every round, please guys, guys please stop just playing deathmatch and ranked, I'm begging you. I don't know what it is, I feel like it's so rare for me to find teammates who use their mic. I'm usually running with three people, maybe four people max, and the majority of the time we're running into randoms who do not communicate. And if you're not communicating, that's one aspect you're leaving on the table. You can do a lot of damage with information, please don't forget that. Secondly, is understanding utility. There is a support role in every Counter-Strike team for a reason. If you're not necessarily clicking heads, you can drop back, flash in your teammates, throw entry smokes, molotovs, and grenades, and have equal impact as to getting a frag in any given round. So don't underestimate the value of just being a utility spam bot for your team. 
that can be game saving, even if you don't necessarily put up the biggest numbers on the scoreboard. And lastly, this is something I'm trying to understand more and more as I grow and go forward in this game. And that's that there's a difference between practice, warm up, and grinding ranks. Do not look at playing matchmaking as practice. Do not look at playing matchmaking as your opportunity to warm up. You need to do these steps to make sure you are playing your most effective at any given time. You need to warm up before you play. You need to practice when you're not playing. And that is how you will gradually improve over time. So, you know, DMing to specifically get better with certain weapons and sharpen your aim. Using aim maps. Playing on retake servers once community servers come back. All these things are done outside of your ranked sessions to help you improve as a player and we often neglect them because most of us just want to get on and play games and i am just the same way the amount of times i've booted up stream and just skipped the warm-up and gone straight into my matches it's the majority of the time and you know what my gameplay suffers for it there are some games where you just get on a go but if you're sitting there and you're spending the first half of your game trying just to get warmed up and not feel rusty you're gonna lose a lot of rounds and a lot of games outright because of that so personally i'm committing an hour every day to deathmatch, run through all of my weapons, run through my pistols, and just keep sharpening and working on my game. I'm spending more time offline working on smokes and flashes, and hopefully you guys start to see that bear out in these videos. I've played really badly these last few days, and it actually started to affect my mental outside the game, and I don't want it to be like that. Uh, playing ranked is not a big deal. Ranked anxiety shouldn't exist. You should never feel bad about losing or gaining ranked. And I'm trying to approach things with an open and positive mindset more, so that way I don't get angry. Because I hate getting angry at these games. I really do. And that's tough because I'm an emotional player or an emotional person. So I tend to get very invested in the moment. So I have to find a way to detach, reset, and keep going. And hopefully, if any of this helps you guys, hopefully you can do the same. That's about it. I'm probably going to cut this rant here. Uh, see you guys next time with another video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah.